gives you a kind of a bluesy sound. Stanley, uh, when did you first build your first banjo? Well, the first one I built was 15 years old. It's been built 55 years. You were 15 years old when yeah. you made it? Have that one? Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Right here it is. This is it. Yeah, I made this one when I was 15 years old. And uh, Dad sort of showed me, you know, it happened when I made that. Showed you how to build it? Yeah, yeah, that's the first one I ever built. Looks like you still have the bullet holes in the house. Yeah, that, I had his old shotgun, 12 gauge shotgun, and shot it a squirrel, uh -huh. and he helped me tan it, and that's the shot hole that's in it. <laughs> See what that sounds like. <laughs> Still sounds good. It has been made a long time, 55 years. Since that first banjo, Stanley has developed a fine style that makes his instruments in demand by people who appreciate good workmanship. He uses cherry wood, or sometimes curly maple when he can get it, but his favorite wood is walnut, which has to cure four or five years before it can be used. This is called an old-time mountain banjo, but you might be surprised to find out that the factory-made banjos are actually older than this style, and it was probably one of those factory-made banjos that your grandfather uh, saw during the Civil War, wouldn't you think? Yeah, that's where he saw it at. He brought it, had a pattern he got down in Wilkes County when he settled this country. Now, do you think that pattern he had was of a factory type with the brackets, or do you think it was of I this think it was just like this. So somebody had already started yeah. making them out Some, of wood. Uh, yeah. Somebody done started making them, you see. Uh-huh. Well... You've been making them in your family ever since. I mean, people in your family have. Let's see how they're put together. Well, what do you start uh, with? This is a, what we call a hoof. That's a metal piece then. Right That's there. just a piece of yeah. walnut cut yeah. round. Mm -hmm. Now then, uh, this piece is on the top, like this. 